my beautiful nail divas it's me princess d and today i am playing with model ones acrylic yes they sent me all of this so we get to play with these um i use the mccart tips in my flexi hand just in case you're wondering i repackaged them in this plastic box but when i got my package from model ones this is their new monomer packaging um the number seven right here was broken you see in the packaging but they packaged it in a bubble wrap bag so that was great because i mean there was a mess but i cleaned it up um because all the other ones were just fine um it did mess up the packaging a little bit on the top and the bottom but and you can see a little bit around the bottles and stuff like but I think it's just fine because the colors came out beautiful. Um, this is number one. And I used this pink for the nude part. Um, I ombre You will get to see that in a minute. So you could see some of that green down in the cap there. But it's all fine. Because as you'll see later, it didn't make a difference. Look at this pink. It has a shimmer to it. It's absolutely stunning, you guys. Absolutely stunning. And these tips keep falling out with the slightest bump. And it gives me a hard time throughout the video. But we make it work because we diva babies. <laughs> but this green, Nikki had another one to make a long story short. So we, we took what was left in the bag. We poured it into the two containers that she had. So we both still ended up with two of these beautiful number sevens so and they're both full to the top so that's what's great but this is the number two which is a gorgeous you hear me a gorgeous bright pink i will show you up close and you can see a shimmer in this pink lid as well but in the jar and in the lighting you can't really see but maybe there's not a shimmer and that's just me i can't remember now <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i just know they're so beautiful and i love the set that i did okay so here is number six so this is a brighter yellow it's not a bright bright yellow but it is a bright yellow it's like a little bit burnt maybe but it's so beautiful but it's not so dark that it's like a mustard but it is beautiful Okay, and then now I'm going to show you this green, which is number seven. And you guys, look how freaking bright this green is. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Number seven, I just wanted to show you the bottom because I didn't turn it over before I opened it. Look at that green, you guys. Oh my God. So I'm not sure why I'm closing it. Let me open it back up. <laughs> now I'm going to show you this orange one. And it's not like, I get, again, it's not a bright orange. And it's a number, number five. Number five. Um, this is more like a, a mango orange maybe. But it's absolutely beautiful. And in a second, I will show you them together. See? One is more yellow than the other. This one on screen kind of looks like a peachy, but it's not. It's really not. So let's get into this set and see what I do with it. I want y'all to let me know, is it a diva smash or is it going to be diva trash? Let me know down below, babies. Okay, here we go, divas. I have, I thought I hit record, but I didn't. So I already poured the monomer into my gorgeous dappin dish down here. And I already cut a piece of my potty pad out. You guys, I get like nine sessions with that. Here is my Model Ones brush. I'm trying to show you that it's a number 12. I'm going to use this brush, which is a um, an aquarium brush, and it has a gorgeous goldish um, champagne color glitter in it. The bristles are absolutely great. It is a perfect beginner brush, in my opinion. Even though I'm not a beginner, I it was very easy for me to use. <clears throat> Look at the sparkles, you guys. Oh, my gosh. And there's all different colors, as you guys can see. It's so beautiful. 
I just love this brush. So if you don't have a brush, it's a great brush. Now, the brushes are stiff when you get them, and that's because they have put the little brush glue or top coat, whatever it is that they use. This is my um, isopropyl alcohol. You can find it on my website. I spray the brush down and I wipe it like so. And then I'll continue to do that until it's all gone. <clears throat> Once it's all gone, then I get as much alcohol out of the brush as I can or some people use acetone, I don't recommend it. But once you're done, then you want to condition your brush by burping it in your monomer. And when I say burping your brush in your monomer, I mean pressing it all the way down and give it a little wiggle back and forth to get all of the air out of the bristles and get that monomer in between all of those bristles to get it nice and conditioned. Now, I like my brush flat at the top so I like, it looks like I'm going back and forth with that, but I'm really not. I'm going in one direction. You always want to go in one direction. Um, but here we go. I'm going to go ahead and burp my brush into my monomer after I flip my doggy pad around because I don't want my monomer getting messed up with the, um, alcohol. Okay. So here I go. I'm going to go ahead and burp my brush into my monomer and get started with our set. And of course, I want to let you know I'm using my girl nail by Nikki's almond stiletto clear acrylic eight ounce. <laughs> I don't have the model ones clear, but you know I got my girls clear because that clear is clear, baby. So if you ain't got none of that, go on over to nailbynikki.com and get you some. Here we go. Okay, so starting out, I used this orangey one and I kind of wanted to marble all of the tips. So I used a little bit of the clear and then I went into the orange and I went to marble that. Now by doing it like that, and leaving the color on the bottom, it's more, uh, it shows more depth with the color. Um, <clears throat> so I did a couple of them the opposite way because I used clear. Had I used white, it would have gave it a whole different look. And maybe we'll do another set with the white. Um, but I kind of do the same method all the way for all of the nails just with the different colors and then I kind of scooped in a little bit of the other colors you'll see what I mean they didn't stay in good and this kept happening it happened like two or three times so I just tapped it off and then used my monomer and wiped off as much as I could and then moved on doing so it left a little bit of the green in there which I should have moved the ones that I wasn't working with out of the way but I didn't which is okay too because it still turned out delicious baby <laughs> at least I think so let me know what y'all think down below but real quick before I go, I liked it so much that I could have left it like that and it been an accent now, but I just added a little bit of pink to the yellow and a little bit of the green to the orange, a little bit of orange to the green. Y'all get the picture. Let me know what you think or what you would have done.
Okay, so of course you guessed it. I recorded the next part, but I didn't hit record, and I'm sorry, but it was so easy to work with, you guys. I friggin' loved these acrylics. So I already laid them, and I've already shaped and buffed them. So the next step is to top coat them. And yes, I used the puddle, baby. Go and get the puddle, baby. I used their top coat because I didn't have mine near me. And theirs is the next best towards mine, in my opinion. Maybe I'm being a little biased. Possibly. Because it's just as good. Um, And that's why it's my next go-to. But I love the way this set turned out, you guys. I also used the pottle file, as you can see, underneath the flexi hand because that's my favorite file other than the metal file um, for the shaping because it's nice and stiff, you guys. I'm not playing when I tell you I like me a stiffy. Wait a minute. Oh, didn't sound so good, but y'all know what I'm saying. Shit. the five that they sent me model ones i hope that you like the set that i've created with the five colors that you sent me i love this product you guys if you don't already have you some model ones you have to go get you some make sure you use my um discount code diana10 don't forget it divas Now, what am I going to say, y'all? Stay delicious, and I'll see you when I see ya. Mwah!